Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to do a product review on the LS2 Strobe Modular Helmet. Okay, $149. We've got several colors available, some graphics as well. Sizing is going to span from extra small all the way to 3XL. This is gonna ship for free to the lower 48 United States. We've got fast and affordable international shipping as well. No restocking fees. Get the strobe from us, you wear it in the house, all you need to make sure you love the fit before you take it out on the road. That way, if you gotta send it back for return or exchange, you're gonna avoid every hassle and avoid every fee. Best of all, this is gonna qualify for STG Cash Rewards. You buy this, you're gonna get a store credit you can use on your next order here at STG. Okay, we're gonna open up with sizing. I measure 58 centimeters on the money, puts me right in the medium on their size chart. I wear a medium in most helmets out there. I got a good comfortable fit from this. I actually really liked it. I mean, I'm not uh, really necessarily a modular guy, but I put about I don't know, 10 or 15 miles in this helmet on the R3, and I enjoyed riding in it. It is a good product that sells at a very fair price. You take good product, you take fair price, you put those two things together, and that makes people really happy. I would have to say if I pulled the trigger on this with the expectations of getting a good quality, nice fitting modular at $149, this would have exceeded my expectations, so it's a good product. Two shell sizes, okay, extra small through I believe the medium, they don't call it out, maybe the large, and then for sure, XL through 3X will be the second shell size. Right around 3.7 pounds, it is DOT and ECE 2205 certified. It's gonna come with a DOT certified quick release. And you look at this, there's a ton of metal in that. It's really a nice little feature. You dial this in with the D-rings, and then you're able to really adjust it right to those little fine details and make it just right for you. You pull on the red strap, boom, it releases very cool feature. It includes a drop down inner screen. It is glasses appropriate. This helmet was designed with the glasses wear in mind, whether it's prescription or sunglasses, easy in, easy off, and then comfort when you're riding. They just opened up the cheek pads a little bit in that area right there. Ventilation of the helmet, I would say, you know, it's not bad. It's, it's not some huge home run, right? But this is a really affordable price point modular. We've got an intake vent up here at the top. It's on or off. And then we have an intake vent here in the chin bar area. That is going to serve primarily to drive some air up onto the shield to help reduce fogging, right? It's more of a demisting feature than it would be actually a vent. Release for the canopy is there. It's got a nice detent at the top. Okay, so you can see it's not just going to fall right down. Locks positively. Multiple detents for the shield as well. Spring loaded, so it kind of pulls it back to help seal it there against the gasket. The helmet is able to accept different communication systems, audio systems that are available on the market today. The liner is removable, washable, and of course, replaceable. Now we're going to jump into the service portion of this video. I'm going to take the helmet apart. We're going to talk about the shield mechanism, show you how to take the interior out, give you an idea of the build quality from the inside out. Okay, we're going to start off with the shield. As always, bring it up into the top position. You can see here we've got a little lock. We're going to slide that forward. And we're going to rotate that cam down like so. That is a side specific piece meant for the right side. So they're marked, but just go ahead and keep them on their respective side. And then you're going to go ahead and just kind of pull the shield off of the helmet like so. All right. You know, is this the most uh, user friendly or easiest one ever? No, but it's secure. It keeps it on the helmet. At the end of the day, I would say it accomplishes the job. It just looks a little different than what we're used to seeing. Reinstallation. Okay, we've got a tab back here at the 
rearward portion of that shield. And there's a channel right here. I want to make sure that I slide that in, right? And then position that over the pivot. And we're going to put our twist lock back in place and then pull the lock back. Same thing on the other side. You know, at the end of the day, do you have to be, you know, a full-blown NASA certified rocket scientist to do? No, probably not, right? But uh, not the easiest to use I've ever seen. Not sure that that really matters much, though. Okay, now interior. Bring the canopy all the way up. We'll go ahead and retract our sunscreen. Cheek pads are, of course, removable. They're held in place by snaps, like so. Release on the other side. Top pad is removable. The neck roll on this, my expectations would be this neck roll is going to be fixed in place. Perhaps not. The neck roll comes out. Got a little piece of spring steel around it. The reason I said that was their vector modular actually was fixed in place. Pop that out. Now the top pad is really easy because that's actually held in place by that neck roll. Up here at the leading edge, down the brow. We've got a channel with some tabs. Kind of get your thumbnail in there, release those tabs. And out comes your top pad. Inside, you can see they've used that kind of mesh fabric here as a spacer. We'll pull that out of the way. That helps to quiet the road noise and the air entering the helmet. We've got our intake vents here. You can see they're pretty large, channeling an EPS is going to allow for ventilation and then you can see right here depressions in the EPS itself to help accept, accept any of your communication, your Bluetooth devices. What do I think? You know at $149 it's well put together, it performed well, right? A couple little things, maybe the shield's a little wonky, I don't know if that's a big deal to you or not. If you're looking for a cheap modular, when I say cheap, I mean cheap in price, not cheap in quality or features. I, for me, this one exceeded my expectations. I would recommend it if you're shopping for this product at this price point. I'm Brian Van, SportbikeTrackGear.com.